our Drew's news, where the soup du jour is always good news chowder. <laughs> and with me at the desk, world's best co-pilot, Ross Matthews. Oh, hi everybody, <laughs> hi. Uh, this story intrigued me to no end. Iconic bombshell Pamela Anderson is ready to tell her own story on her own terms. Variety reports that a documentary all about her personal and professional life is coming to none other than Netflix. Yep, that's the place to do it. Pamela said on social media that she's not a victim, but a survivor and alive to tell the real story. And both her sons reposted this note, highlighting the words, real story. So obviously they're behind their mom. I'm now curious with this real story, what the, maybe the family feels, the film, Pam and Tommy. The one on Hulu right now, yes. right? Yes. I love it and I do think, and I would have to say, I would not love it if it was taking her down. I'm just glad to see the show is not doing her a disservice, but actually really opening up my eyes to the sexist, incredible victim ways that she was set up for. Well, it's interesting, you know, I like the, the Pam and Tommy series as well. I like it a lot. But if they were making a series about your life, well, for starters, if it was my life, it'd be way more boring than their life. But, you know, no matter how they tell your story, you still want to get it out your way, your version. Today in the headlines, uh, she is a culinary icon. Mm -hmm. Julia Child Ju is back. Julia. Oh, yes. And Food & Wine reports that the Food Network is launching the Julia Child Challenge, which is a competition show where chefs will recreate Julia's classic recipes. It's literally gonna be like a side-by-side, -side, and it's all for a chance for the prize to go to a French cooking school. Take a look. They'll cook alongside their hero. Delicious, really yummy. Who also started as a home cook. I just love to muck around in the kitchen. And found her calling later in life. Welcome to the French chef. I'm doing the child. They'll cook in a kitchen just like hers. It's so close to the real thing. With the same ingredients that she used that made her... Voila! Julia. Still alive. Uh-huh. If this isn't appointment TV, I don't know what is. It starts tonight on the Food Network. This was interesting. The movie Dune um, has 10 Oscar nominations and is getting a sequel. Oh, wow. And Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya will be back for part two, but The Hollywood Reporter says they might be joined by none other than, I'm not kidding, one of my favorite actresses in the world and rocked it as Scar Jo's sister in uh, Black Widow, oh, Florence yeah. Pugh. Love her. Um, she's in talk to play Princess Irulan, and the deal is not final. But this is where it gets interesting. Florence is one of the very finalists um, for the Madonna movie to play Madonna, but they film at the same time. Oh, plot twist. You know agents are so hot to trot right, right. now. They're like, buy, sell, buy, sell. <laughs> you can have her, you can't have her. You <laughs> want her, you gotta pony up. I mean, this is so fun. <laughs> Hollywood bananas. Yeah. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Now, 54% of adults are celebrating today. And Rossi, guess, economically speaking, how much money people are spending on this holiday? I, I have no idea. Hold on to your leprechaun hat, Rossi, because <laughs> Martha Stewart Magazine reports that people will spend $5.87 billion. What? What? So I'm like, what? It's a, a lot of, you know, alcohol and shamrock oh. shakes and bar business. And listen, this is good for the economy. Yeah. The average person will spend about 42 bucks on everything from green clothes to corned beef and green beer. So, hey, happy St. Patrick's Day and happy boost to the economy. Well, yeah, I think we're in high grade. 5.7 billion seems like a lot, but when you break it down to like $42, yeah, like I bought this green shirt. I didn't have a green shirt, but I knew I wanted to wear a green shirt, you know? And I love the color of that green. It's got thank a lot you. of blue and it. it's very attractive. Thank you, thank you.